What up guys? So today we have a 2018 Dodge Durango. We're gonna be reviewing for you guys. So first we first thing you see, you see the performance facelift. It's got the performance hood as well. It's got the LED headlamps and fog lamps. It's got the 20 inch gloss wheels. They're kind of nice. It's called granite. That's the color. Red interior as you can see right there. Keyless entrance. Have the key right here. Press the button. Do this to unlock. So we unlock it. It's a three row SUV. Got that trunk thing. Double touch that. Opens up. No hands, no nothing. You double click it again and then. So it's got the parking sensors back here as well as the backup camera, LED tail lights, all LED, the whole thing. Dual exhaust and it's all blacked out too. We got the black dark windows. We got the black trim. So let's go ahead and hit the interior. This red interior, I'm gonna turn it on for us. Put the key right here. It's real easy to get in for tall people. It's real. All right, go. All right, so we got the red interior, as you can see, leather all the way around. You got your mirrors right here, your windows, all four. You got your headlights right here on this little switch. Your headlights on this switch right here. All right, so this is the RT. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. It has a 5.7 liter V8 with a Torque Fly 8 speed automatic transmission. It's all wheel drive. You can change your um, drive modes right here. You can change it to low, either to low or all wheel drive high. All right, so we got the thick steering wheel right here. It's all leather wrapped all the way around. You got paddle shifters right here. Once you put it in sport mode, you can see, you can put it in sport mode right here. You can use the paddle shifters. You can shift it into drive right here. Drive and then slap it over here, and then you can shift with these, and it tells you the gear you're in, park, reverse, or drive right here. So I'm gonna slap it back over and then put it in park. This is your cruise control right here on the steering wheel. Cancel, resume, set, up and down. This is how you turn it on. So right here you have, you can change your modes between, this is your oil life. It's basically the same with all the Dodge vehicles. All your messages, here's your music, your trip meter, your average gas mileage, your oil life remaining. This is how you answer a phone call. If you have an incoming phone call, you can hook your phone up right here. Hook it up. Once you get a phone call, this is your navigation. These are your controls. You've got a heated steering wheel. You can turn that on, ventilated, and heated seats for the passenger and the driver. This is how you turn on your backup camera. You can just turn it on. Here's your climate. You can turn on the dual zone climate AC. So this is an eight inch touchscreen. So it's the Uconnect system. I forgot to mention that when I first started. Here's your media. This is where your songs will pop up. All right, so this has the Beats audio system. It has a good spot for you to put your phone if you need to. It has your charge ports right here, as well as your auxiliary cord. This is your cigarette lighter right here. So in here you have, I believe you have your regular plug in here. This is pretty, this is a lot of space. That's how you drop that. So you have this little cubby. You can put either your phone, look. It's a good spot for your phone. Then you can do this just to reveal your phone or both then your phone's in here all right so this is your home link right here so we'll open up your garage you can set it right here this is how you open up your trunk this is your lights you can turn all your lights on in here all right so let's head to the back seat and see what the size is like all right so right here you have your vent controls in the back so you got ac as well as heated seats back here you got your vents right here you can turn these all on make sure the back passengers aren't cold either you can turn the back ones up you can turn them hot cold you got your AC so right here you got this little cubby got your cup holders oh you got your automatic windows back here you got auto windows not fully automatic but to get into the truck you just press this button twice on the remote opens right up completely touchless and close up the trunk it's this button right here finish up this review I'm gonna do a remote start it has the remote button right here all right to start the car with the remote you just click this button twice and it starts it right up Ooh, it sounds good I would say this 5.7 sounds good so you turn it off by pressing it one more time so, this is the end of this review guys I hope you like to so drop a like on the video don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you come to Victorville Motor, then you come see Tommy Mac. Any of the salesmen will help you gladly. I'll be in front, 4 to 9, Monday through Friday. So yeah, come see us. See you guys later.